Hey, this is Paul from Les Bronx Guitars and welcome to my shop. So today's topic is uh, warped or bent lumber, what to do with it. Now this piece of, uh, this is poison wood, this piece of poison wood which will be used as a base fingerboard has been sitting in my shop for about a year and it's very well acclimated to my shop. It's been in here that long. It's bowed though. No matter what you do, I mean, I sticker all my lumber, I let air flow around it, and I keep weight on it to keep everything straight. But you're going to find some pieces that just don't cooperate like that. Now, it's done moving pretty much. It's, it's, it's pretty solid. I can't even really bend it back. And um, I'm going to have to do something with it. I want to use it. I don't want to just scrap it. So one way that I do things like this is I, I have a sled and i normally do it on bodies body type of wood they're shorter so my sled is not long enough to do this but i put on the sled and i wedge a little piece of lumber on the one end if it's crooked a little bit and i run it through the planer and it makes a nice level surface on the top once that's established i take it off the sled i flip it over and i run it through the planer like it would normally and that'll finish up the other side and that straightens everything out but like I said, since this is so long, uh, I don't want to, I can't use that sled. So I've got another idea I'm going to try. I'm going to see how it works. This is the first time, folks, so hang in there. Uh, I'm going to use a safety planner. And if anyone knows what a safety planner is, it, you know, and you'll see it, but it, 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 you chuck it up on a drill press, and it's got these three blades on it, and it spins and it cuts, it planes. It planes the wood. So I've got a nice flat piece of lumber I'm going to put it on. And I'm going to try to get the hump out of the middle here first. I'm going to try to work this down. And then if that works out, I get it nice and level. I can take it off of there and I can put it this way in my planer and run it regularly in a planer. And that should finish this off. So if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's better than just scrapping the lumber. Right? So let's go ahead and check this out. All right, kind of barbaric, but what I did was I took a piece of sandpaper and I put it in between this straight block of wood that I have the fingerboard sitting on and at the highest part of the bend where it bends the most basically and it's going to flex a little bit uh, I think that's okay um, and I kind of taped the ends just to hold it down I'm going to get pretty close to this tape anyways I'm, I'm sure but the thing about this thing is to keep your fingers away <laughs> This thing uh, is pretty sharp, it can cause some damage. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. Let's check it out. This is the, uh, by, by the way, this is the safety planer right here. This is it. This is the tool I was talking about. I'll give you a close up later, maybe. my depth gauge right here. Oh, well, let me get this mic on. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's pretty flat. A little bit on the end over here. I think I think I can go just a little more and then we'll be ready for the planer. Let's do it. Yeah, this is an amazing tool. I'll tell you what. That piece is flat. 
Uh oh, that one good. And I still have plenty of material left for a fingerboard. Plenty. All right, I'm going to take this over to the planer next. Okay, this is the safety planer. This is a close up, I promise you. And it's got these three blades on it. This is a tool that you can get from Stumac. That's where I got mine. You can also get it at, um, I don't know, some of them other uh, woodworking outlets. I don't know, Woodworkers um, Supply, I think, or, or one of them, I can't remember. But you can look it up. You can, you can just Google Safety Planner, and you can find it online in different places. But if you go to Stumac, they got them there. Uh, you can see the three blades. There's a little Allen wrench. Um, well, next exit's on this side. I'm sorry. The Allen wrench is on this side. You can take these blades out, and it comes with a tool. It's like a, it's a grinding stone, and you take the blades out, and you, it fits inside this this round part of the um, the blade, and it sharpens it up. I haven't sharpened this one up in a while. I probably need to do it again. But uh, this is a good tool. This thing really planes well. There's a, I use this for a lot of different things. You'll see in some of my videos. I use this in, 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 several, in several situations. But a uh, really cool tool. Well, that worked out pretty good. This thing is nice and flat on both sides. Still got enough thickness on here to make this into a fingerboard. Plenty of room. So the safety plan and trick worked. Like I said earlier, there was different ways of doing this and that's just one way I wanted to try. That was the first time I tried it. And uh, as you can see, it works out pretty good. It may not work out every time, but it certainly did on this piece. And I think, um, yeah, that's a good solution for long, thin pieces of wood like this. Anyway, so uh, if you like that tip, go ahead and hit that like button for me and let me know you liked it. And you can also subscribe to my channel to keep up with things like this. And, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, you should share my videos. That would be a great thing. Anyway, thank you for joining me here at Les Mons Guitars, where custom is what it's all about. And I'll see you next time.